Hey, this is Deepak here and welcome to day 3 of your 100 day blogging course. In today's lesson we are going to talk about how to choose the right domain name for your blog. So first let us talk about why domain names are required in the first place. So whenever you type in a domain name, the browser is actually loading the website from a server. The server has an IP address. Each and every server has an IP address. If you move your website from one server to another server, then the IP address also changes. So the users who browse your website can't remember the IP address every time, right? So they can remember only the domain names and that makes browsing on the web much, much easier. To give you an example, if you have your phone with you, the phone numbers of your friends are like the IP addresses. A phone number of your friend could change, but his name does not change. The, his name on the phone book does not change. So it's very similar. So if one of your friend updates his phone number or changes his phone number, you don't change his name on the phone. You just update his phone number to the new one. You might not even remember what the previous phone number was and what the new number is, but you just call him by clicking on the name. So domain names are like that. So even if the server IP changes, the domain name doesn't change and then people will be able to load your website on the browser very easily. So I would say that DNS is the internet phone book. Each and every website has an IP address which changes from time to time. So let's say you have your website in a specific IP address. So whenever someone searches for a domain name, the domain name or the DNS record has this IP address on file and the browser will load the files from this server to the website browser. But however, if your IP address changes, then you just need to update your domain name with a new IP address and then the website will load from the new server. So each and every domain name has something called domain name records where these details are stored. So domain name records are usually held at the domain registrar or the name server, which I will explain better in the future videos. So the, there is something called A record. A record will point to the server IP address. MX record will point to the mail server IP address. Like for example, if you have a Google Apps account, then there are separate MX records for Google Apps. And then you have something called TXT records, which are used for domain verifications. So now let's talk about why domain names are so important. So if you are building a strong brand, which needs to have a good recall and good association, then you need a good domain name on it. We already spoke about branding in the last video, which was day two. And domain name is the brand name when it comes to online businesses. So if you don't have an offline business and if your entire business is online and when it comes to blogging, obviously the entire business is online. The domain name itself becomes the brand name. Like for example, Digital Deepak is the brand name, but many times Digital Deepak is referred to as digitaldeepak.com as the brand name itself. So that's why domain names are so important. A good business which is built on a bad domain name will suffer. So if you are going to invest a lot of time and energy in building your business and if you are doing it in a bad domain name, then it will suffer and it's not easy to change the domain names in the future. Moving all the websites and making sure the search engines are uh, recognizing the change is very, very difficult. So domain names are like virtual real estate. Whenever you buy a domain name, the value is held inside the domain name. It will always have a resale value. So whenever I purchase domain names for my business, I don't treat it as an expense. I treat it as an investment. So let's talk about some basic rules of good domain names. A good domain name should not be more than two to three words. For example, digital Deepak is two words. There are big brands which are built on three words as well. For example, when you look at thelogicalindian.com, it's a three word website, but usually you don't see any big brands who have built it on four words. So there is something called the phone test, which I always recommend uh, doing when you are registering a domain name. If you tell the domain name to someone on the phone, they should not ask you to spell it out or they should not ask you for clarifications on the domain name. They should just be able to go ahead and type it on their browser and open the website. So if I say digitaldeepak.com on the phone to someone, then there is a very good chance that they will not ask for the spelling again. 
Dot com is always preferred because of the branding power of dot com as a TLD. More than 50% of the websites in the world are built on dot com, and it has been the first ever G- uh, TLD which was released. And ideally, I also recommend the domain name should be 12 characters or less. Geographic TLDs are okay for country specific niches. So if you are building a website which is just going to be for India and never for outside India, it's okay to have a dot in domain name. But at the same time, if someone else has a website at the dot com version, over time, if you are building a very good brand, then what happens is that people might end up visiting the dot com version, and you may lose some of the traffic to them. And it's not good, especially if you are competing in the same industry. Most of the very big websites in India usually have a dot com version also, even if they have built the website on dot in. You have to be a bit careful when you are having. geographical tlds so tld is basically means top level domain name which is basically the extension that comes after the dot so dot net is a tld dot com is a tld dot site is a tld and things like that so some gtlds do not have value in the market for example there is a, a domain extension called dot pro but there is not enough value in the market for dot pro So where do you want to register your domain name? So I recommend that um, you can register your domain name at GoDaddy because GoDaddy gives you the best offers for the first year. But GoDaddy is not really reliable to hold high value domain names for the long term because of poor customer support. You know sometimes there has been stories of people losing their domain names or not able to access their domain names because of some error in their system. So go ahead and register your new name at GoDaddy. uh if you if you click the banner below this video you will be able to get an offer sometimes you will be able to register it for as low as 1 dollar or as low as 100 rupees uh which is not available if you visit godaddy directly so go ahead and register it for the first year uh but you can move it to some other registrar after the first year so there is something called domain name portability just like phone number portability that we have and you will be able to move the domain to another registrar So I use name.com and namecheat.com alternatively both are very good uh, high quality domain name registrars and the renewal costs are the same so for the second year you, you will be able to shift your domain name to one of these domain registrars So let's talk a little bit about who is database and who is privacy so there is something called who is database so there is no expansion for who is it just means who is and this database contains the contact details of each and every domain owner so you can check the ownership of any domain name at whois.com or any other query tool there are many other uh, query tools uh, on the web and there is an option to hide these details for a cost so if you don't mind the extra cost paying for whois privacy you can go ahead and buy it so basically the domain name registrar will put their own contact details for you instead of you so that if someone looks up your domain name or website on the whois database they will not have your email id phone number and address so generally email id phone number and address are displayed in the whois database and uh, if you don't want to buy the whois database you can still give an unused email id and a phone number that you do not use frequently and you can put a forwarding mail address or you know some office address there so that uh, your privacy and your you know home address or your personal phone number is not revealed and that one more thing dot in domain names can't be protected this is because of the rules in india so dot in domain names are controlled by the indian head registrar so they don't allow who is privacy so in that case you might want to just give don't give completely fake addresses but just give details which are not very private so let's talk a little bit about premium domain names as well Since most of the names are already taken sometimes it is okay to buy a premium name. So you can buy premium names at sedo.com, brandbucket.com, bydomains.com or if you find a domain name which is already registered and if it is not listed in any of the premium domain name marketplaces you can try reaching out to them uh, from their whois email address and uh, try to negotiate a deal with them and purchase the domain name as well. So I have acquired a lot of premium names over the years uh, through these websites but invest in a premium name only if you think that you can make good use out of it but even in case you don't make a good use out of it sometimes you will be able to resell the premium name to someone else uh, you know at many times a higher cost than what you have bought 
but uh, it it requires some level of experience with uh, domain names to find out which domain name might sell for a higher price and which domain names might not take the risk only if you are able to take the risk like for example uh, a few years back i wanted to start a personal finance blog and i registered the domain wealthy.in but i never ended up creating a blog in that because of lack of time i i then sold the domain name wealthy.in to some other a uh, company who who started a wealth management company on it and they paid a good price for the domain name so i ended up making a profit just by buying the domain name holding it for some time and selling it for a profit but sometimes you might buy a premium name and you might never be able to sell it as well so you have to keep that in mind as well so next action steps so choose a good domain name for your blog you can search it at name.com godaddy.com or any other place you can register a domain name at godaddy i have given the discount link below there is a banner below this video which if which you click uh, will will give you an offer on the domain name and then you can register two or three variants and tlds if you want to protect your brand like for example i have bikerboy.com as well as bikerboy.in so that i will probably be building my website on bikerboy.in but then i will have the other tlds as well just for the brand name protection because you don't want someone else to go ahead and purchase the other extensions and try to build a similar brand like yours so if you have any questions leave a comment below and if if you need more videos on this topic let me know what areas need to be covered and i will create more videos so that's it for domain names and i will see you in the next video bye bye